it's very easy to see what William Ruto, a William Ruto presidency is going to be like. He has a platform. The platform is bottom up, and bottom up is very simple. The trickle down economics of empower a few big men and a few businesses up here, grow the economy in terms of microeconomic fundamentals, like we are growing the GDP at 8% or 6%, and then hope that the goodies will then trickle down. Okay? The trickle down economic model has failed. Okay? And the partner share to that is bottom up. And what, what is bottom up about? Bottom up is very simple, Enoch. Bottom up is simply to answer or to fix the problem, to slay the serpent of exclusion. Kenya is a country of exclusion, social exclusion, economic exclusion, political exclusion. One of the most unequal societies in the world is Kenya. And it is this exclusion that gets Kenyans very angry. You know, Kenyans are generally very angry people. Kenyans are generally very resentful people. Kenyans are very resentful. They're very angry. They're very upset. And who, why, why would you blame them? Because they have been excluded for far too long. And it's this resentment that sometimes erupts into violence around election time, out of frustration. So to fix Kenya, because that resentment, that exclusion, is a risk to our stability, the stability of this country. Our bottom-up economic model is anchored on four pillars. Pillar one, agriculture-driven production, manufacturing that is based on value addition to our agriculture, because we are primarily an agricultural economy. But we sell our products raw. We are saying our manufacturing drive should be anchored on value addition to our agricultural produce. So whether you're talking macadamia or French beans or tea or coffee or sugarcane, all these agricultural products which we also need to diversify greatly, we want to add value to them and use them to power manufacturing. Like we want to get back to textiles, okay? To get back to textiles, let us grow more cotton and let us do more cotton ginning. And then that ginning, ginning in itself is an industrial activity. And then it can feed the revival of industries like Rivertex, which is already on track, Kikomi, and, 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 and others. Okay? If we are going to do um, the leather uh, industry, let us promote the, the um, livestock farming. The pastoralists can be part of that. Livestock farming generally can be part of that. So that we can produce more skins and hides that can power a robust leather industry. Okay? Uh, edible oils. Our farmers who can grow simsim, who can grow ground nuts and, 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 and sunflower, a stuff that can feed the production of edible oil. We import an unacceptable volume of edible oils in this country. So we've got all that worked out in terms of how, how to power the manufacturing sector. Okay? Just the, as usual? No, 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 no. This country is in a terrible shape. In fact, if, when William Ruto is elected president, he's going to inherit a broke country that is pretty much on the brink of bankruptcy, heavily indebted to incredible levels. And so if you do not fix some of these things immediately, this country will go absolutely bust. And so you have to take certain very immediate measures. Like you must give immediate tax breaks for the cost of food stuff to go down. You must give tax breaks for the cost of fuel to go down. If you don't do that, <laughs> very soon, Enoch, we, we, are, we are facing a time bomb. Okay? So, manufacturing that is driven by uh, value addition, housing, housing is a major problem, even for middle class people like you. Your biggest headache in this city and other urban areas is housing, respectable, um, dignified housing. 
a medium and small uh, sized enterprises okay that is something that we want to we, we, we want to we want to lift okay and then universal health care the one thing that impoverishes a Kenyan more than anything else is falling sick or a relative falling sick the biggest volume of harambes in this country is to take people to hospital we want to end that culture of begging to treat people so our model has all those bases covered Enoch and we believe a William Ruto presidency will be the beginning of the healing and the revival of the fortunes of this country not just for those at the top or in the middle but also for those that are uh, occupy the best of our socio-economic uh, uh, pyramid